In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to find a minor of a matrix. Minor is somewhat similar to the determinant, but they actually have different. The difference is that in minor case, we are not going to be introducing a sign. And also, we are going to write out each, each element that are present in the order of the matrix. Now, suppose you are asked to find the minor of matrix A, which is uh, 1, 2, and 3, right? Then after that, you are having 4, 5, and 6, right? Then you are having 7, 8, and 9. So you are asked to find the minor of this matrix. To find the minor of this matrix, it's very simple. Let's say we want to find the determinant, we are going to introduce plus, minus, and plus. But in this case, in the case of minor, we are not introducing any sign. So here, I'm going to open a large bracket, right? A big bracket here, right? I'll open a big bracket. So now, what I'm going to do is that, the first thing is that I will hold this one, right? After holding it, I will ignore everything here and everything here. Then I'm having five, eight, six, nine. That means the first element that are present in the the present the first element present in the row and also the column, which is one. I'm going to have it after neglecting all possible things that are there. After neglecting the row and the column of it, I'm having five, eight, six, nine. Then I have five, eight, six, nine. Right? Then after that, I will go ahead, I will do the same thing for four. Then I'll open another thing here, right? Open another parenthesis here. So I will neglect everything here and everything here. Then I'm having two, eight, three, nine. This is two, eight, three, nine. Right? Then after that, I'll open another one here, right? Opening another one here, that means that's for seven. Then I will neglect everything here and everything. I'm having two, five, three, six. So this is two, five, three, six. Right? Then after that, I will go ahead and do the same thing for the element that, are, that is found in the first row and also the, and also the second column. In the second row and the second column, which is 2, then I will neglect everything here and everything here. Then I'm having 4, 7, 6, 9. So here I'm going to have it to be 4, 7, 6, 9. Right? Then I will do the same thing for 5. Neglecting everything here and everything here, I'm having 1, 7, 3, 9. Right? So here I'm going to have it to be 1, seven three nine then i'll do the same thing for the eight right so i'm going to neglect everything here and everything here i'm having one four three six so here is going to be one four three six right then after that i will do this same thing for the element that i found in the last row and also the last column which is three six nine so the first one which is three i'm going to have it to be I will neglect everything here and everything here. I'm having four, seven, five, six. Then I'll have it to be four, seven, five, six. Right? Then I have this to be open another bracket for six. I'll neglect everything here, right? And also everything here. Then I'm having one, seven, two, eight. Right? I'm going to have it to be one, seven, two, eight. Then after that, I'll open another bracket here. Then what I'm going to do now is that looking at this very well, right? I will neglect my nine so that I will have this. I will ignore this, I also will ignore this, I'm having 1, 4, 2, 5. So here is going to be 1, 4, 2, 5. Right? So that's just it. So now what I'm going to do now is that I'll go ahead for each, 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 each boxes, I'm going to solve it. I'm going to solve it the way, it's somehow similar to the way I will solve determinants. I'm going to simplify it. That is 9 multiplied by 5 minus 6 multiplied by 8, right? So this, that's what I'm going to do here. So I'll open another matrix, just a small one, since I want to simplify this. So the, for the first one now, for the first one I'm going to have it to be, that is actually 9 multiplied by 5, which is 45, right? Then let me just say for the first one, which is 1, for 1. Then 45 minus again 6 multiplied by 8, that's what 48. In this case, this is what minus 3D. Right? So I'm going to have this side to be what minus 3D. Then after that, I will go ahead and do the same thing for this one. Then that's 9 multiplied by 2. This one, that's the case of what? Of 4. Now, in this case, that will be 9 multiplied by 2. 9 multiplied by 2 is what? It's 18. Then minus again 3D multiplied by 8, that gives us what? 24. So in this case, I'm having to what? Minus 6. So here, I'm going to be having minus 6. Then after that, I will do the same thing for this element, which is what? 7. The element here, which is 7. Then 2 multiplied by 6, that's what? That's actually 12, right? 
then minus 3 multiplied by 5, that's what 15, right? So here I'm going to go out, I have it to be minus 3D. So I'll put my minus 3D here, right? Then after that, I'm, I'll go ahead and do something for what? For 2. So for 2, I'm having 9 multiplied by 4, which is 36. Then minus 6 multiplied by 7, that's what? 42. Then this should give me minus 6. So here we have minus 6, right? Then I'll do the same thing for the second one, which is what? 5. So doing the same thing for 5, I'm having 3 that's actually for 5, which is 5. 9 multiplied by 1, well, that's 9. Minus 3 multiplied by 7, which is what? 21. Right? So this gives me what? That's minus 12. Right? So here I'm going to have to minus 12. Then after that, I'll do the same thing for the next one here, which is what? Uh, 8. Right? So doing the same thing for 8, I'm going to have it to be 6 multiplied by 1, that's actually 6. Minus 3 multiplied by 4, that's 12. Right? And I'm have it to what? Minus 12 again. No, sorry. Minus 6 rather. This should be minus 6, so I'm going to have to be minus 6, right? So after that, I'll go ahead and do the same thing for, for the last one, which is 3, right? Doing the same thing for the last one, which is 3, now I'm going to have to be 6 multiplied by 4, that should give me what? 24 minus 5 multiplied by 7, which is what? 35, right? So, oh, 6 multiplied by 4, that should give us, I think that's 32, rather. This should be 32, not 24. That's 32. So 32 minus 35, that should give us what? Minus td, so I'm going to have minus td here, right? Then after that, I'll go ahead and do the same thing for here. This that's eight multiplied by one. That should give me uh oh, for six now. Eight multiplied by one. That's what that's eight minus two multiplied by seven. That's fourteen. So eight minus fourteen should give me something like that's minus six exactly. So here I'm going to have minus six. Then after that, I'll do the same thing for nine. So doing the same thing for nine, I'm going to have it to be five multiplied by one. That's five. Then minus two multiplied by four. That should give me. It. So here I'm going to have what minus td. So this is actually minus td. So this matrix is known as the minor. Is known as minor. So this is the minor of this matrix, right? So if you find this video helpful and easy, do wait to click on the button and don't forget to share my video with your friends. Thanks for watching.